What's going on boys and girls, it's Muntage Gaming here again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back over on Ark Survival Evolved official PvP and this is episode 6 of my Road to Tech series. Today we're going to start all off by pumping out some levels, we're out killing some alphas. The reason why we're trying to get some more levels is we need level 76 for a quet saddle. Uh, the boys tamed up a quetz last night while I was asleep. And uh, yeah, so we're going to pump out this level, craft up the Quet Saddle, and then we can start doing some juicy, juicy, thick as fuck metal runs. So without further ado, let's get into the episode, and I hope you guys enjoy. There we go. Oh, finally. Oh, I got two levels? Holy shit. God damn. All right, there we go, boys. Two levels from the 120 Alpha Kano. That's actually really fucking good. Um... I don't know what my stats are with the with this shit on me. It's so annoying. Might make some cures. Hey, wait. I'm gonna make up the quet saddle, and then we're gonna keep on farming up XP for level 80 for the Indie Forge. So I'll see you guys soon. There we go. Got our primitive quet saddle. Awesome. Got some pearls left over. I'll turn those into electronics, and we might even get another turret out of that. Maybe. Maybe. 64? Yeah, we will. Awesome. We just need some poly, I believe. Yeah, that's not hard at all. So we got one more turret out of that. Let's grab our quet saddle. Chuck it on the quets. And done. Easy. Alright, so stats are pretty average. Um, 1400 stamina is not too bad, I guess. Um, and we've got 1500 weight so far. I think we've got in um, post tame it came out at level 99 so yeah it's doing pretty well it's pretty young on the XP yeah 171 so yeah let's get in there all right now that we have the quets uh, I want to go and tame a mammoth but I just looked at how difficult they are to tame and they actually take so long and they need so many narcotics well for a decent level one anyway uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tame up a bunch of low-level raptors because they are going to be used for imprint kibble anyway. Yeah, we're going to go around, get some raptors, and hopefully we can get some raptor kibble to tame up a decent level mammoth in the future. I'll cut back once i found a few low levels and uh, we can tame them out. All right, and that's the last raptor we're going to tame for now, I guess. How many females did we end up getting? I think we got four. Yeah, so we got four females, one male. So I think we should have enough kibble in a day or two to um, tame up a decent level mammoth. Um, I'm just going to move them up here now, get them out of the way, get them to start laying eggs, and uh, we'll get on to the next thing. Alright, so we got everyone on and we're just farming up alphas for XP. As you can see, I'm pretty much halfway to 80, so maybe this one will give me 80, I'm not too sure, and then we can craft up a fucking Indie Forge, boys. I've been waiting a while for this, can't wait. Anyway, we'll get this killed and then hopefully it gives me level 80. Come on. And before I gets team killed by its Dilo mate. There we go. Ooh, level 80. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Alright. Hell yeah, boys. I'm so happy about that. We can go back to base and uh, I think we have everything we need for the Indie Forge. Uh, actually, no, we, I think we need some poly, so we're going to go farm up some poly, come back to base, and craft up this juicy indie forge. Alright, just coming back to base now, just finished doing a thick as fuck metal run. Uh, we've been leveling up the quets while I was leveling up as well, and uh, we've got almost 4k weight on this beast, so this is fucking amazing. And I think Izuru is finished getting obsidian for the indie forge, so I'm going to craft up the poly, then we can drop down the indie forge somewhere. Now I'm undecided where we're going to put it at the moment because we obviously we can't put it inside. If we put it up hard up against the base, we're going to have to demo it very soon anyway when we expand again. So I think we might put it where the forges are right now. Um, but we're going to have to run a cable out and put some turrets there just so people can't line aside the base with the Indie Forge. I'm going to get this Indie Forge crafted. We'll chuck it down very shortly and. Uh, yeah, give us a moment. Okay, let's line up Indie Forge. Oof. All right, what do we need? 600 pace, 250 crystal, 2.5k metal, 400 oil, 400 poly. All right, what do we got in here? We need 20 more crystal, uh, like 1900 metal, 200 oil, and uh, we're crafting up the rest of the poly now. 
Alright, cool, let's move that all into there now. Okay, got everything in there now, just waiting on the rest of the poly. Oh, I'm excited, boys. Now, while we're waiting for the poly to craft up, I actually need to lay the cables um, and foundations outside so that we can set up turrets out there on the same generator. Let's craft up like 10 of these. Gonna need some verticals, maybe like three. And I think that should be it. Actually, we need junction boxes or whatever these fucking things are called, outlets. All right, so the plan is for this, I think, let's run a cable down here. Just like that. Fuck, that looks ugly. Hmm. Is this gonna work? Oh, this is gonna work with the incline cable. Awesome. Do that. And where does that come out? Is that in the ground? Looks like it's that like in the ground. All right, so that didn't work. What if I run two cables like this? Is that gonna work? Well, I think this might work. Okay, we finally sorted out the cables and as you can see, they run underneath this foundation perfectly which is fucking amazing. So, I just need to craft up the Indie Forge and um, then we can place it down. Hooray! Alright, so what was meant to be just cable running cables to supply power to turrets that would prevent line of sighting with the forge turned into an outdoor crafting area. I don't know how the fuck this happened, but yeah, we've got the outlay for the outdoor crafting area and uh, just figuring out how I'm going to place this forge. Um, I think I want it raised. Yeah, I think we're going to raise it. So anyway, um, we'll chuck down some pillars and ceilings and then we'll chuck the... Uh, the forge on top of that. Alright, so we've decided against uh, raising it. We'll just give people something to hide under to line of sight turret. So I'm just going to put it on the floor here. And uh, there we go. Done. Alright, now that that's placed down, let's uh, load it up with the Anki because we have a shit ton of metal in here. So I'm going to load it up and uh, get this metal farming going. Okay, next up, now that the uh, the metal's smelting away nicely in the uh, forge here, we got two volts down. We're going to go head over to Central Cave and uh, place down a bed and box for artifacts and also just farm it for some chitin and XP as well. So we're going to head over there now and uh, I'll cut back once we're over there. What color is that? Is that green or yellow? I can't even tell. Oh, so many snakes coming in. Oh, they're all stuck up there. Cool. Oh, fuck yeah. Holy shit. Second drop, what do we got? Oof! Hell yeah. We are, are winning, winning the game. Bro? Ramshackle stone hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this ascended metal one I have. Let's uh, chuck this ramshackle one on. Hell yeah. Alright, there we go guys. Secured the clever artifact. Uh, we're gonna have to farm these for uh, brood because we're going to be farming element on brood once we get there. So yeah, we've got the box down here now so we can start farming those because we're going to have to do gamma a lot to start off with to uh, farm up the replicator and probably after that as well. Now we're getting Rex line started as you can see. Well obviously because we, we have the scorpions going, getting kibble. And the reason for that is not for farming so much, it's just for getting engrams. So we're going to be getting a bunch of Rexes together. Hopefully they do survive, but they are kind of suicide rexes, I guess, to uh, defeat medium monkey uh, because that's going to give us the tech generator to power like tech turrets and all that stuff. Obviously, we won't be doing that for a long time. We've still got to tame up some high level rexes, which we haven't found yet. Uh, and we're currently looking for mega theorems as well. So yeah, we just need to get these uh, boxes set up so that we can start farming the uh, artifacts so that we can do the bosses without a worry, without having to farm up the uh, artifacts once we are ready. Anyway, we're going to head back to base now, probably do some more metal farming, keep farming up pearls, getting the defenses ready and uh, looking for mega theoriums and rexes at the same time. Anyway, see you guys soon. Alright, we just got back from a pretty decent pearl run. Considering that we don't have an anglerfish yet, uh, so I think that's like 1500 pearls around about that And uh, we got a few drops as well. We got uh, two pre-made mammoth saddles, which is really nice 43 armor 41 armor 
and we got this Chalicotherium uh, saddle blueprint as well. If you guys don't know these Chalicotheriums, I don't know if I'm saying the name properly, but these guys are actually really fucking strong. Uh, if you breed them up, obviously, and obviously you can breed them up, and they're pretty much exactly like rock golems. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they do the same thing. They knock back, they throw shit instead of rocks, and they do a bunch of damage. They also damage structure, I believe. I've been told anyway. So, uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but these guys are actually really fucking OP. Anyway, um, I'm going to chuck these into the fabricator. And uh, we'll craft those up into electronics. We need more turrets for the crafting area. Because uh, at the moment I only have one turret up there. So anyway, I'm going to move this inside. We'll craft up some turrets. And uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of an overview of the base. Now, not much has changed on the main base. Stage 2 of the main base. Uh, we've got a couple more turrets up there. We've got three on each hatch frame now. Obviously we've got all the plant turrets around there still as well. And then over here we've got the crafting area like you saw earlier and we've got one lonely turret uh, protecting it so I've got to get a bunch more here uh, and possibly put like a mini, I don't know if I want to put a mini turret tower there or if I just want to put them on this foundations, I'm not, I'm undecided right now. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and I've been reading all your comments about uh, spamming the fuck out of the obelisk with metal foundations, billboards and diner gates and to be honest we don't really need to worry about that right now. Um, we only really need to worry about that if someone's going to come push our base with like paraces and like heaps of dinos and stuff like that. But no one is at that stage on the server right now. And if they were, we would know about it already and we would be doing that. The other fact is that we're still just prepping, um, for the main base. So this isn't the, this isn't the, the final base. This is like only stage two of a much bigger base that we're going to be making. So I think the, the end base is going to be like a 10 by 10 sort of thing. We want it big enough so that we can fit all our Rexes, all our Megatheriums, our Quetzes and stuff like that inside and still have enough room to start a boss fight inside the base and only port in the necessary dinos. So yeah, that's that's the goal. If you can, if you can imagine that, then that's what we're going for. Now inside, we've got all the kill dinos like you saw. The raptors have been going actually ham. Actually no, I think it's been a full day since we tamed up the raptors. And uh, we've gotten 28 eggs. So I reckon one more day and we'll have enough eggs to tame up a 150 if we find one. Uh, which I highly doubt it since we are on the island. Uh, but yeah, what else have we got in here? We've got uh, 11 parasaur, got 3 pteranodon. We've got heaps and heaps of dialo eggs. So we're going to have to go and find another 150 Anki or something like that. I want to start breeding them and we also need uh, a female for imprinting kibble as well so we need to do that. But yeah the uh, kibble eggs are coming along pretty nicely. Over here we've got uh, 53 dodo kibble and meat, berries and uh, the crop fridge and we've got some cakes as well for taming sheep. Actually that reminds me, I found a sheep on the way back from the pearl run. I have to go out and get that. Now down here we've got a baby saber tooth. Well it's juvenile now. And uh, that's raising up. Uh, the boys ended up taming two of these. I think Zero found these. He found a 150 and a 120. The 150 turned out really really good. Um, obviously it's been leveled. It's got 27k XP in it. 2.5k health. 820 stam and 490 damage. That's really really good. Uh, and this one is pretty shit I think yeah 1.7k health 380 damage 840 stamina uh, but yeah the female is really really nice unfortunately this got the shit stats so yeah that's unfortunate and the other unfortunate thing is that it needs terror bird kibble for the imprint for the first imprint so and we don't have any terror bird so it's gonna be stuck on 0% imprinting which is shit anyway while the rest of these electronics are crafting up I'm gonna go and fly out get that sheep that I found and uh, we'll tame it up hey where is it? oh there it is, it blended in with the thatch uh, foundations alright there we go, easy tame now time to craft up these turrets, oh we can craft up nine beautiful alright we're gonna need bullets for these as well so let's craft up a bunch of bullets Oh. There you have it guys, I placed down the 9 turrets, we've got 3 turrets protecting this here so people can't line a sight. And then we've loaded up the roof with a bunch of turrets now and it's looking pretty nice, I must say. Uh, as you can see we've got, how many is that, 5 turrets per hatch frame now. Yeah, it's looking amazing, except for this one, don't ignore this one, it's only got 4. 
But yeah, anyway, they'll change tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you did enjoy. The footage is taking a lot longer to get now just because of the, uh, the stage of the game that we're at. We're pretty much just farming up metal, uh, bullets, looking for tames, and until we find tames like the high level Rexes and Megatheriums, we can't really do much. Uh, obviously, we're gonna, still going to be uh, taming up kill dinos as we go along. Uh, don't really want to tame everything on the same day just because the, the base isn't big enough to hold all of the kibble dinos. So we're just trying to hold off on that, just slowly progressing as we go. Uh, but yeah, once we have more turrets, we'll definitely be expanding the base and then we can definitely smash out the kibble dinos a lot faster. But until then, we'll probably just, you know, tame probably one group of kibble dino per day. Uh, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Comment in the comment section below, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay fucking awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.